Good morning. I just got up and um, I decided to go ahead and record the thoughts that I'm having and the things that I feel like I'm going through. I feel like when I wake up in the morning, I'm the closest uh, to my true self. It's like everything comes up all at once in the morning as soon as I get up. So I got up and made me coffee and before I start the day, I'm going to get this recorded. So last night, I was with my twin flame. We went together um, somewhere and whenever we're together, first of all, it was spectacular. Um, whenever we're together, it uh, feels like like home it feels just like I just feel at ease I feel like it's where I meant to be it feels like home and and then at the end of the evening we had a really good time I I um, I always feel like that sometimes uh, Well, I'm going to try to stay on online with what I want to say. Um, I, uh, when, whenever we part, like at the end of the evening that we said goodbye and I, I left, I, it's like, there's pain in the separation. Um. Even in knowing that there's still work to be done and that everything is exact as it's supposed to be, there's still always like pain in the separation. It feels like I miss him immediately. As as I'm walking away, I'm already missing him. It's like it's like two things that come together and then you have to like rip them apart. That's how I feel. And uh so I woke up this morning with, uh, well, the first thing I woke up with was like gratitude. And gratitude is something that I've been purposely putting into my life because I realized that that is gratitude through gratitude. I get into the now and I get, and I, and I strengthen my connection with God and with everything that I have. And it starts my day off. I can get into a rant of gratitude. When I get into a rant of gratitude, it just makes me feel good and it makes me, it lifts me up and it makes me feel whole and it makes me understand that this process well, it allows me to understand that this process is where it is and that there's beauty in this process too. And that we can't come together before, 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 it's like fully cooked. And uh, I feel like where I'm beginning to understand that this reunion is not about the reunion. It's, uh, it is about the reunion in, in, a, in a way. Because the reunion is what allows the fast track to self-realization. Because until, until I'm not completely self-realized and sitting in myself complete, the, the connection can't be whole and then it'll always be clashing. And 
I have patience because I know that this connection has the potential in it to be the sweetest, most pure, most beautiful connection um, that there can be. I see it like like uh, that we came we came out of the same, you know. If there's if there's the God power and you come into like a bubble of life, it's a, like an illusion of life. We came through the same portal together as and, and somehow you know it's like twins it's like we were born twins um that, that's so funny because you know it, it is it's like we're one droplet that was split into two and we're the two sides that need to come together and when i'm realizing uh like this epiphany you know i have like these energetic understandings and i kind of see like this circle let's say a circle maybe I could draw it that would be a really cool drawing to make maybe it maybe it's more like this a circle like this or, and that um, the the soul connection to be able to connect to the souls you have to have um, you have to reach your higher self because you're connecting on the soul level and everything that's under it on the physical level is just stuff that gets in, you know, stuff that's blocking. And so in order, you know, and, and what I mean by that is I don't mean like this, you know, a cup of coffee, which it also, it comes into the equation in a second. I'm going to get to that. But, but, um, uh, I mean, on a soul level, like when I clean all the baggage that I'm carrying from my past, all the false, uh, false, um, beliefs and I get to purity and he gets to purity and it's kind of like a, a process that we're doing together because as I purify myself, I can get closer to him and, and reflect back to him and he's purifying himself in the process too. So I understand that this is like a, it's a two way, it's a two way and that it's divinely planned. So I like I woke up this morning with the, this uh, like I miss him I miss him we were just together last night and I woke up this morning and like this you know, like this yearning like this uh, I don't want to get into that because I'm, I'm I'm understanding these other thoughts and that's in the 3D like uh, ooh, I want it to happen already and, you know the impatience um, but I realized that it's it's a process and that it takes it has its time that it takes because it's like we're, it's like steering a big ship right so my life is a big ship and i don't know i don't really like that analogy but it, go, it works good for this for what i want to say so i'm like steering this big ship and when you take the turn it takes a while for it to turn and i feel like you know, like I said, that this has this connection has the potential to just be the sweetest, most beautiful connection, but it also has a potential if you try to like clash, like clash the two parts together and force them together before they're ready, then all the garbage on this side stays and all the garbage on this side stays and you're like clashing all your garbage together and then it has the potential to be like a big garbage clash. <laughs> like which causes pain. And so as soon as I woke up this morning, before I woke up, I like started waking up and I wrote down a few things. It's, it's like, what I realized is that the fast track to the reunion with the flame is my connection to God. And my connection to God is a connection that's through myself. And God, you can take that word and you can replace it with your higher self. You can replace it with the universe. You can replace it with the uh, divine knowledge. You can replace it with wherever we came from, you know, to live this life, which is the all, you know, we're part of this big mishmash, mishmash universal all. So the quicker that I can come into understanding that I am connected to everything and perfect just the way that I am and purify myself from 
ego mind, which is the, 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 the illusion that I am separate from everything and that I have this own entity, that I'm so important and I am this and I am that, you know, the I am is this, I am over here and he is over here and then you can't be one, right? But if I disperse the I am and he disperses the I am, then we just become one with the universe. But, but in the process of becoming one with the universe and, and, and lowering our ego or taking our ego into rain, it's like reigning in our ego with a, you know, like you would rein in horses um, and taking control over our ego and seeing it as a servant to our higher self. Which, which it does serve us. It serves us to know that for this human experience, we have to have an ego. Otherwise, we would just fall and we would just lay in the grass and dissolve because we realize that it doesn't really, you know, that our, in, our life, you see, everything is like a paradox. It really does matter, but it doesn't really matter anyway. You know, the, the, think about it. Thousands and thousands of years people have existed and they've come and gone and come and gone. And, and just like we have a life, They've had complete lives and lived their whole life and they're gone and there's no memory of them. They were put in the earth and the worms ate them and they went back into the earth and their, and their, and their, and their energy went back into the energy of the all. And it doesn't really matter anyway. So when you really, really see that it doesn't really matter anyway, you know, and you didn't have this ego, uh, uh, that you're, that you, that keeps you like, oh, I have to eat, I have to this, How, you know, that keeps you alive, keeps you wanting to continue. You just go lay down in the grass and allow yourself to rot into the earth. It wouldn't matter anyway, right? So, but once you can, like, it's not overcome your ego because your ego is, is your most powerful tool, is the way I say it. It's your most powerful tool. Everything that you have sits in your ego. All of your archetypes sit in your ego. Your ego is like your highest tool. It's a tool of the lower self, of the body self, but it is like your highest tool. Um, even your thoughts sit in your ego. So when you're, when you're able to rein in your ego and have control over your ego, your higher self controls over your ego, then you're in control of your life because you see what you allow in, you see what you don't allow. You kind of like, you can maneuver your life. And so once you have like complete power over your ego, you can lower it, the volume of it so low to where it's just at its base instincts level. And that is being in the now. It's bringing yourself in the now. So the, the fast track, I, was, I wrote down here, fast track to like reunion with your, with, your, with your twin flame is not trying to get connected to him. It's doing my self work on me and controlling my, uh, taking my power back. And because he is a reflection of me, then it kind of brings him into that too, especially being the, the, um, feminine energy in this, you know, the feminine energy is the energy that, you know, we're like the container. We contain the energy. And so once we are able to take our power in that and, and be a container, then we can also contain his energy in the process. Yeah, it's just like, it's just like female and male. If you think about it, even sexually, it's the female is the container. It's if you think about it with childbearing too, you know, we are the container. We contain the child. It's yeah, I know it's, it's kind of funky to think about it that way, but it's, it's a way to think about it, you know, plus and minus. And you see it throughout, you see it throughout, throughout nature. Once you find these patterns in nature, you see them everywhere. And then you become like a master of nature once you, and the thing is, is that all of the patterns of nature exist within ourselves. And that was part of going back to the fast track. So 
we are of nature and we are of this universe. We are of this planet. Oh, okay. I am going to continue this in a second. I have a call. So I had a phone call on that uh, kind of... Uh, I'm, I'm glad because it kind of did a cut and then I can get back to it and maybe bring it back in a different way. So I was, the uh, subject of this video was like a fast track to union with your, with your twin flame, but it's coming at it from a different side because what I'm realizing is that the fastest way for a reunion with your twin flame is doing your own self work. And I, I've, I've seen it over and over and over, but I really understand it in myself. Also, it's like a, there's there's a few different ways of looking at it. It's like you're coming into yourself. So in any case, when you come into yourself here, you're coming into yourself on the on the outs. You know, the, your your counterpart is also yourself. So if you're going like this in your 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 inners, they're going like this. How can you connect to something else? It's, you know, it's all funked up. But what I'm seeing is that the quickest way to, the quickest way, the fast route to this is finding your connection with God. And uh, because when you're connected to God, you're there. And so if you're focusing on your twin, your twin is also doing his old funky thing too. So it's like trying to catch a, 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 you know, trying to catch something that's flipping around while you're flipping around. But if you go to the source, which is God, because God is steady. It's creation is steady. If you look out into nature, nature just is. And so you're looking for the point that is within that is just is. Your being, your inner just be. See, being, your inner being is comes from be, just be. And that's the message I keep getting over and over and over and over, just be. It's like an inner calmness and trust. And it requires a leap of faith because you're like, but wait a minute, if I just be, how am I going to get? <laughs> and it's like this. It's like everything that when you find a hole, you find a paradox. It's like black and white. It's like me and my twin flame. It's like black and white. Uh, it's like yin and yang. It's like two circles trying to come together. It's like the physical and the spiritual. It's uh, it's like everything. There's 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 counterparts, and so I'm realizing that it is a trust thing because I only have half the picture, right? He has the other half. And so he has to do his work while I do my work. And then we are a reflection of each other. So I trust that as long as I still have my inner work to do, and there's a heater down there, it's kind of cold here. So I trust that as long as I still have my inner work to do, he still has his inner work to do as well. Um, because when I am complete and I am calm and I am just in the being mode, then there will be no conflict because when I come to purity, then he has no, he has no choice but to lay down all of his armor or, or, yeah, I don't really like that, but all of his, you know, all of his, there's nothing for him to hold on to or to hit up against when I release. And, um, that's what's so fun and funky about this twin flame process. See, this morning I woke up kind of like, uh, at first I'm like, okay, gratitude. And then I started going, uh, you know, because it this, this immense, because we were together yesterday. And then in the parting, there's always this pain, like this, I miss him. I like, I like this yearning to, uh, you feel like part of you was ripped away from you. And um, so I went into that and then, See, now I'm remembering that. What was I going to say about that? I realize that it's all divinely guided and that, and that when I am completely ready, it will be. So you, you can't force it. And I was thinking to myself, you know, when, when you're together and then you, and then you part, 
you know, we parted on good terms. It's not like this, uh, like there's any drama there or anything. But when we do part, it's, uh, I know that we each go into contemplation. And, uh, and, the, and the reason I know this is because I go into contemplation and, and you know, you, you start rerunning things in, in your mind and what ifs and, and maybe it could have been different and how do I, you know, trying to hold on to it. And then going through the whole process again of realizing of what I'm just saying is that, you know, do the self work. And then, I, you know, these, all of these reflections, they come up automatically. You don't even have to think about this. It's like, oh, that happened. Wait, what did that mean? Because when, when he speaks to me, it's like he's speaking to me from the top of the pyramid. Like in one of my previous videos I did, like at the God Connection. So he speaks to me on all of my different levels. So everything that he says, it resonates here and here and here and here and here, all the way down to the physical level. And it's like everything I have to process, like almost every word that he says has more than one meaning, especially because he is so precise in the words that he chooses that, and I think that also that it, a lot of it is not even purposefully, it's, it's his soul speaks to my soul, like my soul speaks to his soul. And he's also, he's also like, a, he's funky. He's got all these uh, tricks up his sleeve. He's funky. So he's also on purpose. There's no doubt about it. He's funky. He says all these things just to trip me up, just to see where they'll, they'll hit me and see, you know, uh, you know, try to, you know, I, I feel like, I feel like, you know, like, when you see like a dog that gets like a toy in its mouth and it starts going like this like that and shaking it all up that's what i feel like i feel like he grabs me and goes shakes me all up and then sends me on my way so that i can do like like ultra fast self work to get to his point yeah he's on a fast track and he's also got this like this mind that is just like incredible Funky dude, funky dude, but just like I like it. I like it funky. I like it funky. Yeah, anything else would bore bore me completely. I like the funk. Nothing but love for him. You know, in the in the beginning of this process, I used to get all tripped up and like mad and whatever. Anymore, I already know it's for my own good. Like there's no there's no you know there's no getting caught up because I understand that all of it is for this, is, is for the higher good. It's for, even without any kind of reunion, let's say, okay? Let's say, let, let's say that wasn't even on the table. Uh, the, the, the connection to myself and the connection to God. See, that's what I was also saying about the fast track. Okay, getting back, because I get, you know, fast tracked what I was going to say because I get sidetracked to all of these different. <laughs> so is that in finding God, you get straight to the, the flat place, you know, the just being place. And then he can come in there. There's room. Um, and so instead of focusing on him, Focus on God and how. To, what's the quickest way to find God? Because we are beings of this universe, the quickest way is through ourselves. If we find our own, the patterns of the universe within ourselves, then we found God. Because once we find the patterns of the universe within ourselves, we see that everything is exactly as it is supposed to be, and it gives us this inner peace. And so there's there's a lot of things that I said here um, in this video. It's about taking control over our ego. Um, and being the masters, mastery of the ego to where it's like a volume. The ego is like a volume switch. You can turn it up and you can turn it down according to, to the situation and according to how you need it. And then you control it and you don't get all thrown up on your emotions because your emotions sit in your ego. Just like I said before, it's like, uh, it's, it's like an umbrella 
and then all of the the parts of you sit within this ego this ego is also like a like a a container it contains your emotions it contains your uh, attitudes it contains your reactions it contains the way that you perceive the world it contains all of that so your ego sits it's it's like it's it's for the use of this human experience so it's for the use of the physical and it sits under the soul and it's like this container and it contains all of the archetypes that are running through you everything sits in this container that is your ego and when you control the ego you're like the master controller of your life you also don't have you know like uh, busha is like and being embarrassed over things you don't have to be embarrassed over anything when you control your ego you understand that being embarrassed of something is the self it's the the i'm not perfect so i have to change the way i am or what if somebody sees me that way like there there's you know there's there's two sides to to that too there's the the you know the ego the part because being shy or embarrassed is the exact same thing it's on the exact same, you know, it's the exact same uh, spectrum of being, um, what is the word when, you, when you're when you like an asshole? <laughs> Not an asshole, but when you're like uh, fully yourself, conceited, like, oh, I'm so cool and I'm so this, it's the exact same thing. It's you thinking that you are you. It's it's egotistical. Being shy and being conceited are both being egotistical. That's funny because egotistical comes from word ego. So the, it's transcending your ego or coming into control of your ego. It's it, there. There is a leap of faith here that's required because you have to let go. You have to let go of trying to your twin and in the letting go it's because it's like a paradox in the letting go and finding god in yourself uh then the twin comes back and you have to trust that because otherwise you can't let him go and uh, just having the twin there as a counterpart is like you can use it almost like you can use your own ego it's like your reflection okay this is where i'm at this is where i'm at this is where i'm at and i see that the connection on the soul level and the connection on the physical level are are reflex reflections of each other so the closer you are to connecting here in the soul level you you see the reflection of that in the physical level that you can be next to each other without having that uh, but that's what I mean that's just the way I could make it and that's just the way it feels it's like like that and you get uh, beside yourself almost like it is that's like you get beside yourself you're not in the now and fast track to finding God is is through gratitude and through prayer and I'm going to say something. There's a lot of different ways to get to the same outcome. And one of the ways is just believing that it's true or just giving it a chance and fake it till you make it. You can fake it till you make it. Because once you start getting into gratitude and you start looking around for things to, to be grateful for, you start finding them everywhere. You can find them as soon as you wake up in the morning. Thank you for this bed. Thank you for my life. Thank you for my children. Thank you for, for this day. Thank you for your guidance. Thank you for this path. Thank you for my twin. Thank you for my parents. Thank you for my children. Thank you for my siblings. Thank you that I have a place. Thank you that I have internet. If you're watching this, you have, you have internet. Thank you that I have access to knowledge. Thank you that I understand this. Thank you. You have lots of things to be thankful for. Even if in here you don't uh, yet feel it. When you start looking for it, you find it. And then when you start finding it, you start seeing how much you do have to be thankful for. And you can focus on that. And being thankful for things also brings you into the now. 
which when you're in the now, you're transcending your ego automatically because you're living in the moment. You're not in your mind and thinking you're you. You're, you're out there in this experience. So that connects you straight to God. That's the power of now. And then if you can be more and more in those moments, then you're more and more found God or, you know, I'm calling it God. And I know that a lot of people that will like that word can turn you off because it, it, for your, for most of my life, it turned me off, but I'm saying it in a different way. I'm saying it in a way of that. We are God. We belong. We are children of God. We come from God. We are this being that is God. And God resonates inside of us and the patterns of the universe flow through us as well. And when we find these patterns, see, that's back to the quickest, quick, quick quickest uh, reunion is going through yourself to find God because we are of God and we're always with ourselves. And when we're able to quiet our mind and quiet the ego, then we find God within ourselves we find those inner patterns of the universe within ourselves. And it's the easiest because we're always with ourselves. So it's the quickest way. Our patterns of thought, our patterns of, you know, the, the actual physical patterns. Okay, so I think that I've come at this from many different directions and I am going to meditate now. So I, uh, I'm sending you lots and lots and lots of love um, also to myself and also to my twin and I'm wishing us yeah I see this as this union and this um, journey as a privilege and and even being in this process, there's a value in the process and there's a value of, of for me, there's a value for me and for whoever's watching, I'm sure, there's value in me putting this process into words and you can't get from here to here without going through the middle. And so we are in the middle and this is part of the passage through. And there's a value in that. It's, it's like leading the way. And I feel like it's a privilege. It's like leading humanity back away from the separation from the all, which I see in humanity is vast vast and you see it in everyday things you see how disconnected we are from nature and that is our disconnection from ourselves and in order for us to reunite you know to 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 become united with our twin we have to go through this uh, connection back to the all to nature to god it's what i've been talking about and in in having to do this process and for me, now I'm realizing recording this process and putting it out there is a value. It's, it's like leading, leading, and we are the leaders back to the connection to the earth and to ourselves and to nature and to the plants and to the animals and to all that is. And we are... Yeah, I don't like the word lucky, but I feel like it keeps on coming up. So I'm just going to use it like we're the lucky ones. We're like the chosen ones to be a twin with uh, another, you know, another being and having to do this work in this process to get back to our purity and connect us back to our true nature and back to nature is a privilege it's a privilege. It's a privilege. We're so privileged. And I have gratitude in that. And now I realize that making these videos and putting this into words, and that is my God's work.
I made a video yesterday about doing my God's work first. That when I get up in the morning and I do God's work first, you know, because things are coming through me, understandings, and what, every time I wake up in the morning, I'm a little bit closer, I'm a little bit closer, because all of a sudden, I understand things, especially after, you know, meeting with my twin flame yesterday, and I didn't let him call him twin flame, it's, it's true, <laughs> but it's like meeting my other self yesterday, or my counterpart, or whatever you want to call it, I don't even know what to call it, my, I don't know, it's like my predestined other person my home I feel like at home with him and it's always it's always emotional the the parting but the, there's always so much that can downloads and I feel like these downloads aren't mine these understandings are for humanity um, and if I don't record them, who's going to record them? I'm the one going through this. And so I feel like it's my God's work or my, you know, even if it only touches one other person and one other person is able to connect to this and see themselves in it, then I've, it doesn't matter. Even if it's just saving myself. Because as I put it into words, I understand it. I didn't even meditate yet this morning. I get up and do my God's work before meditation because it, it like comes out so purely. I think that today, this is a Saturday. And on Saturday, I'm, I'm, I feel off the hook. I know that I'm off the hook all the time because I do my own work. Um, but I feel like maybe I'll sit down and I'll write... I don't know. We'll see. I'm going to do meditation and, and then follow my nose. I trust that I'm going to be guided in this day. I trust that the divine is guiding me all the time. I feel like I need to just be. And then I have the old ways of thinking that is I need to do. Um... Because I also have to make a living, you know, I can't just sit here and make videos all day long and do my God's work. Well, I guess it is part of God's work. I, I feel like when I do my God's work, the rest of my day, just, I was at so much ease because my God's work is done. Everything that I am meant, what, what I, what, you know, when I don't do my God's work and I have all these messages coming through me and I just write them down, write them down and, and they stay in the back of my mind. Okay, you have to get that out. You have to get that out. That causes the most pressure. When I get my God's work out of the way, then I feel like I'm free to do whatever else I need to do to make a living or, or whatever else I need to do to, you know, take care of my children or clean or whatever. My God's work is out of the way. Like I've done, I've done what I need to do and, uh, and all the rest is just like, and that's also what I feel like with my twin flame. It's like, I'm, I'm on this fast, even if, let's say no reunion. Okay. Let's take the reunion out of, out of the equation. Let's say I take the reunion completely out of the, uh, out of the equation and, um, you know, the thought that I'm having now is that my, my twin flame, he brought me in. It's kind of like Adam and Eve. I'm made of him because he came through a portal, but he brought me through the portal because I'm younger than him. He left space for, I see it as like driplets, driplets of, of God coming through these portals. And he left space and room for me to come through. And so I feel like with knowing or without knowing, he brought me into existence with him in this 3D. And so when I look at it that way, I feel like grateful. I just... 
I just love him. He's just something else. I love him in the 3D and I love him in the spiritual. I just love all the different all the different parts that I meet. I love. I even love all his little kunsim, all his little hang-ups. I think it's cute. I think it's funny. He cracks me up. I see. <laughs> okay. Okay. See, there's 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 a lesson in in, in unconditional love. I just love him. Uh, he's 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 like a teaser too. He teases me. He like tries to make me jealous. I don't even think he tries to do it. I think he just bees, and then and then it's like he just brings it all for forward. Even if he knows, even if when he knows, it's it's like he's it's like he doesn't hide anything. It's all out in the open, and I love it. I love it because it makes me do my God's work. <laughs> but let's say what I was starting to say is if there was no reunion on, on the table, right? I'm going to marry him. But let's say there's no reunion on the table. Even for that, it's worth it. I'm coming into myself. I'm finding God. I'm finding peace. And I can see it in myself. And I can see it in my relationships. And I can see it in the reflection and the... Um, the reflection that I'm getting from the outside world by ways of other people that I meet. Um, the way that I'm treated, the way that my presence has an effect on people around me, the, the peace that I am coming into uh, affects people that I meet. Uh, people want to be at peace. So when they meet somebody that is at peace with themselves, it's magnetizing. And, uh, okay, so I'm ending this video. I'm going to do my, myself. So thank you for watching. Sending you lots of love.